2023 season at Rogley 2.30 a.m. on July 27th a long line of climbers moved slowly above 8,000 meters on K2 the second highest mountain in the world and one of the most dangerous expedition leaders coordinating the summit push from base camp started receiving reports of avalanches and then an accident soon after Triumphant Sami announcement drawed out the concern. Christine Arley of Norway and Tenjin Sherpa Lama were among the first to reach the top. A large Sherpa team, which helped fix ropes on the upper sections, supported them. Other climbers followed closely behind. It was eventually confirmed that a Pakistani porter, Mohamed Hassan, had died. Information about his death remained stretchy. When and why did the acid happen and how did Hassan die? What did the nearby climbers do to help? Hassan was an employee of Lila Peak Expedition. Alex Abramo 7 Summit Club assigned him to assist the rope fixers during the summit push. Some climbers noted that Hassan was not very experienced and that his equipment was inadequate for a summit push on K2. Silvia Ziva of Bulgaria summited K2 that day as a member of the Elite Speed team. She said, During the summit push, there were five avalanches next to us below the bottleneck. One of them hit some of us on the way up. Later, a person died in front of my eyes. One moment he was alive, and then on the way back, we had to jump over his corpse on the high sage that we were passing. Reports remain wildly contradictory. A Pakistani climber fell and was hanging upside down for over an hour. Climber Alipi said. They managed to pull him back up. At first, he was alive, but he couldn't be saved. Then everyone had to step over him to head toward the summit. The Sherpa who helped Hassan was Alung Dorchi Sherpa of AK Expedition. He led the report back to his expedition leader, Lakpa Sherpa, who confirmed the facts. Hassan's oxygen mask broke in the fall, he said. Alung Dorchi Sherpa and one of Christian Arila's camera operators helped Hassan back to the trail. Lakpa Sherpa also said that after Hassan was eventually helped back to the trail but unable to move under his own power, he suddenly passed away. But drone footage suggests otherwise. He died not so suddenly. The porter was still moving three hours after the accident. Fleming was not there, but his drone was. Fleming was with the wheel and stand and the team Sirdar Migma Sherpa near the bottom of the bottleneck at 2.30 a.m. They were waiting for the rest of their team and for the crows at the bottleneck to disperse. Framing and the William stand collected money for Hansen's family from their expedition teammates. After trekking out, they visited Hansen's widow. She said it was his first time on the upper slopes of Keichu. Fleming said, previously, he had only worked as a porter to base camp, but this time he needed to make more money to pay for treatment for his sick mother, who was also at home when I visited. Hassan also left three small children. Why was there no rescue attempt? I don't know how there was no attempt to rescue him, although he was in a very complex place, right on the train in the middle of the traverse under the Gris Serac. Luis Soriano said. People literally had to jump over him on their way to the summit. I passed by that place on the following day and the body was there. A tragedy. There is no rescue team on K2 and the liaison officer can do nothing, Lakpa Sherpa said. Before his accident, some Sherpas in the rope fixie team told him to go back many times because his climbing equipment and clothes were very poor, but he didn't listen and followed the other climbers. 
paradoxically, considering the long queue of mountaineers that's impeding in recent years, the day could have been more, because K2 is a very severe mountain. Subscribe the channel and see you next video.